A tick is a unit of time that Minecraft bases its calculations on. Each tick is 1 20th of a second, or 50 milliseconds. Every tick, the game checks a lot of things, such as if you are holding a key down, or if you are on a block. Imagine each one of these blocks is a tick. This is how fast 8 ticks would go by. That was a little too fast. Let's slow it down. Much better. Alright, stop. Let's zoom in on one tick. Alright, so as I said before, a tick is 50 milliseconds in length, and Minecraft does its calculations at the end of each tick. I'll play out this imaginary situation and tell you what would happen. So in this situation, at 17 milliseconds into the tick, the W key is pressed down. The W key is then held down for an additional 16 milliseconds. At 33 milliseconds, the W key is let go of. What do you think happens? The answer is nothing. Since no key was being held down at the end of the tick, nothing occurs. You stand still. You're probably thinking, that's not possible, you press down the W key. You can actually prove that it is possible by using something that isn't based on ticks to see if you press down a key. So why does this even matter anyways? Well, every jump is based on a specific timing, whether it be semi-head hitter or jam, head hitter, two tick, running, or even multiple jumps of momentum. This being the case, you don't start moving until the next tick begins, regardless of when you press down a key. This means there could be a 49 millisecond difference from when you press the key to when you actually start moving. This adds an element of randomness into the game. It means that unless you press down your keys at exactly 50 millisecond intervals, you can either fail or make the same jump with the same timing. The average reaction time is about 200 milliseconds, or 4 ticks. That means that any jump where you press space before 4 ticks have passed and is not fail safe is partially luck based. The reason that jumps past 4 ticks aren't luck is because you can account for the distance lost subconsciously. Alright, so only jumps that have less than 4 ticks of running are luck based, right? Partially. Take a look at this picture. This is where you can run from in order to make a 4 block jump. You might be asking yourself why there are red bars between the green bars. The answer goes back to what we were talking about before. The game checks to see if you are on the ground at the end of every tick. The game also checks to see if you are holding down any keys at the end of every tick. Where you start running from determines where the last possible tick you can jump at is. If the ending of that tick is too far back, you cannot make the jump. Alright, so you can just find strategies for jumps before you do them, right? To an extent, there is an extremely large amount of jumps, mixed with the fact that there are 4096 different angles, mixed with the fact that you're required to turn for a lot of jumps makes this unfeasible. Okay, so which jumps aren't luck based? Jumps that have a two or more tick opening are not luck based. Most of the time, this is possible. An example would be a 3 plus 1, or a 3 block momentum 4 block. Alright, that's all I have to say about ticks for now. I hope you enjoyed Parkouring with Uber Leitzer, Episode 1. <laughs>